In this class, we will look at how to solve these kinds of permutation problems. Permutation with limitations. Two row seating problems. Permutation with identicals. And altogether or all separate problems. Steps to solve permutation with limitations problems are take care of limitations first, then resolve the rest. Finally, use the multiplication rule to combine them together. Here's an example How many numbers can you form with 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 9? No numbers can be used more than once if they are four digit odd numbers. Here, we use seven numbers to fill four positions. Since they are odd numbers, the last digit can be only one, three, five, seven, nine. So there are five choices for the last position. No number can be used more than once means all digits are different. Therefore we can use permutation here. After the last digit is chosen, the remaining three positions can be filled in any order by the rest six numbers. So there are six P3 choices. Using multiplication rule, we know the answer is 5 times 6 P3. This is 600. The question says no number can be used more than once. What if they can be used more than once? In this case, we will simply use the multiplication rule. Again, there are 5 choices for the last digit. Since numbers can be reused, each of the remaining 3 positions will have 7 choices. So the answer is 5 times 7 times 7 times 7, which is 1715. For the same set of numbers, now we want to form 4 digit even numbers that are less than 6000. So there are two limitations now. Following the same steps, we first consider the first digit. Since they are less than 6000, it can only be 1, 2, 3 or 5. And then the last digit. Because they are even numbers, it can only be 2 or 6. But wait a minute. The question says no more numbers can be used more than once. If the first digit is already 2, you cannot use 2 any more in the last digit. Therefore, we need to consider first and last digit together. When the first digit is 1, 3 or 5, the last digit can be 2 or 6. This is 3 times 2, which is 6 choices. When the first digit is 2, then the last digit can only be 6. This is one choice. So for first digit plus last digit, there are altogether seven choices. Now for the rest two digits, we can put any of the remaining five numbers there. This is 5P2. So the answer is 7 times 5P2, which is 140. These are two rows of seats. Each row has five seats, two on the left and three on the right. There are four aisle seats. And four window seats. Now we are going to seat 6 people in those 10 seats. If there's no limitation, there are 10 P6 ways. But now there's a couple. They must sit together. In how many ways can these 6 people sit then? First, let's figure out how many ways can 2 people sit together. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 ways if 2 seats are together. The couple can exchange seats also. That's 2 ways. Once this couple is seated, the rest four people can sit in the remaining eight seats. That is 8P4. So the answer is 6 times 2 times 8P4, which is 20,160. Now let's study full permutation with identical objects. In how many ways can you arrange letters in the word C? The two E's are identical. If we treat them different, then there are three factorial ways. Let's label the two E's as E1 and E2, so that they look different. But actually, there are only three valid cases. They are SEE, ESE, and EES. These are in the first row. Now let's look at the second row. For the valid case SEE, if we treat the two E's different, then we can arrange them freely. This is two factorial cases. For the other two valid cases, it is the same. If we treat the two E's different, then we can arrange them freely and get two factorial cases. Therefore, for each valid case, there are two factorial related cases if identical letters are treated as different ones. Therefore, the solution is 3 factorial over 2 factorial.
which is 3. If you arrange n items, in which p items are identical, other q items are identical, other r items are identical, and so on, the number of ways to arrange them is n factorial over p factorial times q factorial times r factorial, and so on. In how many ways can you arrange letters in the word, needless? There are eight letters. Three E's, two S's, one N, one D, and one L. So the solution is 8 factorial over, 3 factorial times 2 factorial, which is 3360. In how many ways can you arrange letters in the word, statistics? There are 10 letters. 3 S's, 3 T's, 2 I's, 1 A, and 1 C. So the solution is 10 factorial over, 3 factorial times 3 factorial times 2 factorial which is 50,400. Six women and three men stand in a row. Find the number of ways they stand if all three men are standing together. When we deal with altogether problems, we treat those items as one. So we treat all three men as one. Then there are seven in total. And that is seven factorial. Also, the three men can permute among themselves. This is three factorial. So the answer is 7 factorial times 3 factorial, which is 30,240. In how many ways can 4 hardbacks and 2 paperbacks be arranged on a bookshelf if all paperbacks stay together? Treat all 2 paperbacks as 1. Then there are 5 in total. That is 5 factorial. The 2 paperbacks can permute among themselves. That is 2 factorial. So the answer is 5 factorial times 2 factorial, which is 240. Six women and three men stand in a row. Find the number of ways they stand if no two men are standing together. No two men are together, means they are all separate. First, we arrange six women. That is 6 factorial. These six women will create seven spaces. Let's arrange three men in those seven spaces. This is 7p3. If we do this, then there's at least one woman between two men. Therefore, all men are separate. So the answer is 6 factorial times 7p3, which is 151,200. The way to solve all separate problems is to arrange in spaces. In this class, we learned how to solve five kinds of permutation problems. Permutation with limitations. We take care of limitations first, and resolve the rest, then multiply them together. Two row seating problems. We take care of the special requirement first, for example two people must sit together or two people must sit in the same front and back seats. And we resolve the rest, finally multiply them together. Identicals. We divide n factorial by the factorial of the number of identical objects. All together, we treat them as one. All separate, we arrange in spaces. 